Your whole life you make plans. Plans to find that someone special and plans to work toward retirement. Then something unexpected happens that could ruin it all. Now what's your plan? Call Michaels and Small Act today. We have a game plan, the better game plan. We are taking an exclusive look at a billion dollar economic plan that could actually transform the central New York region. Tuesday, local officials made their pitch in Albany to try and secure $40 million for our area. Joining us this morning is the president of Center State CEO Rob Simpson, who's leading the execution of the plan. Hey, Rob, good morning. Good morning. All right, so you all made your pitch. Now uh, we're, we're kind of waiting. Do we expect to have an answer soon? We do. We're expecting answers, uh, I think, next Thursday, December 8th. Uh, we're told that the state is going to make a decision. Uh, uh, we understand there'll be four regions across New York State out of the 10 that are awarded $40 million to begin implementing what are really five-year business plans for the region. What are our chances? You know, I feel really good about it. I think that uh, I, I have to give a lot of credit to the other folks who participated not only on the council, but we had a tremendous amount of public participation throughout this process. We had hundreds of stakeholders, sort of issue experts across the community that got engaged in helping us build the strategy. We had neighborhood residents coming out and sharing their thoughts and hopes and expectations. Uh, and I feel very confident in the work product we put forward. I think it's a good plan for Central New York. Um, you know, in the competition, uh, you know, it, it's hard to tell exactly how all that will shake out, but uh, we seem to be well received by the review panel in Albany yesterday. All right, so how many folks are we competing against? And for folks who are not really familiar with the situation, kind of what is it all about? What could this do for the region? Well, it, at the end of the day, the governor uh, laid out a challenge, broke the, reg broke the state up into 10 regions and asked us all to put our best thinking down on paper about what it's going to take in order to help rebuild our communities, help uh, grow uh, jobs in the region, and help uh, stabilize the population loss that we've seen across upstate New York for, for decades. Um, we have, uh, there are, as I said, 10 regions across New York uh, that put these strategies together. And, you know, we expect the, the competition is fierce. I've read all the plans. I think they're all very sound. And actually, I'm, I'm hopeful that more than anything, the conversations about these strategies on the regional level will inform some real reform and change in action in Albany. Well, we actually have a graphic. We want to show folks uh, some of specifically the projects uh, in Onondaga County that made the list for the state funding. And Rob, if you could talk a little bit about this, you know, this is where this money would go if we get it. Absolutely. Well, we, you know, we worked really hard. We, we received about 200 applications uh, from folks all across the five county region who were looking for funding support uh, through this program. Uh, we had to find a way to allocate up to $40 million of support, $25 million in capital funding, another $15 million in Excelsior tax credits. And we chose 30 projects. Uh, that was a little bit different. Many regions uh, chose to concentrate their investments in five or 10 projects. We actually spread things around. Uh, we identified projects that not, not only had the potential to create jobs immediately, but also that really fit with our long-term strategy. Uh, you, see, uh, you see on the screen projects like the Syracuse Center Harbor. Uh, we know the mayor's just put out an RFP. She's received three responses, uh, the largest of which could mean $350 million of new investment in those 28 acres of, of existing brownfield. And that's a project that has been talked about for quite some time. So 15 or 20 years. So really this could more. kind of kick start some of these projects we've been hearing so much about for so long. Absolutely. All told, the 30 projects that we submitted to the state, uh, they, um, they reflect about uh, 1,958 p potential new jobs. Uh, they're talking about $755 million in new capital investment in central New York over the next five years and uh, upwards of $400 million in new payroll. That's money that's going directly into workers' pockets uh, and that's something that we feel really good about in, in addition to retaining another 360 jobs. So the way we look at it, uh, the state has uh, put forward a plan to let us try to spend $40 million wisely. Uh, we have a strategy that can turn that $40 million into $1.1 $1 billion in 2,000 new jobs. We feel really good about that, and uh, we're hopeful that next Thursday will bring good news for Central New York. Certainly a competitive process, uh, but fingers are crossed here locally, and best of luck. Thank you very much, Megan. Rob Simpson, thanks for being here this morning.